Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to find the common ratio of geometric sequences. Question reads, if x is not equal to 0, then the common ratio of the sequence x, 2x squared, 4x to the third, 8x to the fourth, 16x to the fifth is... So to get us started, let's take a look at the formula for the common ratio of a geometric sequence. All right, so the formula is as follows. So the common ratio R is given by the second term divided by the first term. So A2 divided by A1, the second term divided by the first term. Or you can take the third term and divide it by the second term, okay? Or you can take the fourth term and divide it by the third term. So you see the pattern here? Basically, the rule is if you take a term and divide it by the term before it, so an is a term and an minus 1 is a term before it, that will give you the um, common ratio, all right? So if you have two consecutive terms, that's more than enough to find the common ratio of a geometric sequence. So in this particular case, we have the geometric sequence x. So let's consider the geometric sequence. Um, so the sequence is x times 2x squared, 4x to the third, 8x to the fourth, and 16x to the fifth. Now, how do we know that this is a geometric sequence? It's not just a sequence, it's a geometric sequence. How do we know that? Well, the term common ratio only applies to geometric sequences. When you hear ratio, think about multiplication. However, if we're talking about common difference, then we'll have an arithmetic sequence. All right, so components of the question can tell you what type of situation you're dealing with. All right, so we have five terms here. Um, so let's itemize what we have. So this is A1, the first term. This is A2, A3, A4, and A5. So if we pick any two consecutive terms and divide one by the prior, that will give us the common ratio. So we have a lot of options here, either A2 over A1, A3 over A2, A4 by A3, or A5 over A4. So we're going to pick um, the first two to find the common ratio. Then we'll pick another pair just to check for the accuracy of our solution. Alrighty. So um, we're going to use A1 and A2. So we have, um, let's write it out. A1 is X. And then A2 is 2X squared. So our common ratio using these two terms is going to be the second term divided by the term before it, the first term. All right, so we're going to have 2x squared divided by x. All right, let's break this down. So we have 2 times x times x. All right, writing this exponent in expanded form divided by x. And we can divide out these x's. x goes here 1, x goes here 1. And then you have 2x. So our common ratio is 2x. What does that mean? It basically means that if you repeatedly multiply each term by 2x, you will get the terms of this geometric um, sequence. All right, so just keep multiplying by 2x squared, uh, 2x, sorry, keep multiplying by 2x over and over and over again, and you, you will get all the terms of the sequence. So that's one way to check. So let's do a check by um, utilizing two other terms. Let's use, uh, how about we use A4 and A3, all right? Remember, we have a lot of options here to find the geometric, um, to find the common ratio. So if we want to use A4 and A3, so A4 is 8x to the fourth, and A3 is 4x to the third, all right? Our common ratio R is now going to be A4 divided by the term before it, which is A3. So we have 8x to the fourth 
divided by 4x to the third. Now hopefully we get um, we get 2x. So let's break this down. So 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. You can use your factor tree for that. And then 4x is x times x times x times x. And then uh, divide that by um, 4x to the third. Let's break that down. You can use the properties of exponents. You don't have to break it down, but this is just showing you all the steps. All right, so let's simplify this. 2 goes here, 1. 2 goes here, 1. 2 goes here, 1. 2 goes here, 1. You can take out the x's. x goes here, 1. 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 And x goes here, 1. So you're left with 2x. That is excellent. That's exactly what we got before. 2x is the answer. And that harmonizes with what we got before. So we know that our answer is correct. The answer to this question is option number one. So that's basically how you find the common ratio of geometric sequences. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to support our channel with your likes, thumbs ups, and subscriptions. If you have any questions, specify it in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.